Welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Power Query. In this video, we will be covering three important topics related to grouping data in Power Query. We will start with how to group data by a single column and do a count. Then we'll move on to grouping by multiple columns. Finally, we will show you how to add a count or frequency column using grouping option. This is a common task when you have a large data set and want to summarize it by counting number of occurrences in a particular column. The data I'm using is sales data and it's all in a table format in the data tab. So once you have the table selected, click on from table slash range and it will open a Power Query editor. Now you can rename your Power Query or if you have a good name already, you can skip this part. For our first option, we will group by single column. So the group option is available in the home tab here group by and it's also available in the transform tab in here as group by all right so you have to select the column that you're going to group by on and then go ahead and click on group by and this will open up a new window with group by options the column you selected earlier will appear in the first argument for second argument choose count rows as the option if it's already selected you can keep it there the new column name you can also keep it same or you can change it if you want I'm going to keep it same for now as count. The column option here will be disabled. By default, this will only be available in certain operations like sum, average, etc. Click on OK. And that's it. You have successfully grouped the data by single column and counted the number of occurrences by city name. All right, so let's move on to our second option where we will group by multiple columns. So I'm going to rename our Power Query. I'm going to say sales data, multi columns. Now this is useful when you have to summarize by more than one column. So similar to earlier example, select the columns you want to group by. You can do this by holding down the control key and clicking on column headers. So let's select city, customer type, and gender. Go to the transform tab, click on group by. You will see that the group by box has advanced options select by default and the basic option has been disabled. And you can see that the three columns you selected are already available and have been selected in the group by options. Now choose count rows as the operation if it's already selected. Keep it there. Now let's add another aggregation. So I'm going to click on add aggregation. I'm going to say sum and in operation, I'm going to select sum. Now you can see that the column column option is now available for selection. So I'm going to select quantity and now I'm going to click on OK. And this will create two new columns. One will be count of rows with these three groupings and one will be sum of the quantity of based off these three groupings. Click on OK. And now you can see you have a count based off these three groupings and you also have a sum column based off these three groupings where it's adding up the quantity column. So far so good. Let's move on to our example three. In this example, we will be grouping data and adding a new column as counter specific column and returning all other rows as well. This is useful when you want to see occurrence of a specific value in a data set. Select the column you want to group by. So we are going to work on unique identifier, which is concatenation of city, customer type, gender, and total sales value. What we want to see is if we sold more than one times based on these four criteria that is city name customer type gender and total sales value click on the column to select it click on group by click on advanced we will keep this column selected because this is the one that we want to group by our first grouping operation is count rows we will leave it as it is we will leave the column name as it is as well click on add aggregation now you can give your column name we will say all data and in the operation you will select all rows click on ok and it creates a group data now you can see that now there's a column available as all data which is in form of table from which you can extract specific columns this is very similar to when you merge a table in power query and you have all of the columns available for extraction click the icon with arrows facing opposite direction and from here you can return any specific columns you want so let's say we just need few columns from this click on ok then this adds all of the original data and this column count gives us the count of unique values in this criteria and now we can see that we have two such entries for the specific city name and with this total sales value we can do the same for others you can see this city name with this gender and this total sales value has 26 lines in this whole data that's it you have successfully grouped the data by three different options if you like the content please consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you next time